Great. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me? Where you two all sit? Us? Oh, no. Oh, it's a lady. Excuse me, where you two all sit? Well, what's this? She couldn't be. Is Does she have those rice things on her hat? Yes. You, you're selling lunches? Here? Th this is a crime scene. <gasps> Hello. Half and half, was it? Oh, uh, uh, thanks! And you, sir? Y yes Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off-limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passers-by. Or are you officers? Oh, no, but but you, I... You don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my... D it, wait, if my days as the cough up? Why? Why are the cough... Why the cough up queen? What is that supposed to mean? Is her food actually going to make them vomit? Or is this something else? Or is she... Is she too quick to divulge information, or what could she possibly- Or she was- she was an interrogator? I don't know. Oh, Like, she would make other people cough up information. I don't know if she has a squid choker or, like, a hot dog that's been- you know, like the hot or dog octopus. a hot dog octopus. I'm pretty sure that's a hot actually, dog octopus. Actually, yeah, in Japan, aren't hot dog octopuses really popular for bento boxes and stuff? Yeah. Hot dog octopus. Even if my days as the cough up queen are over. Cough up? Huh? Uh, you know, I'm feeling kind of full. Uh, maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. Oh, she is the witness. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? Hmm. <gasps> Wait, did she just get the really stern eyes? Yeah. I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that detective. What? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean... You're the witness my sister was talking about. Please, cough up, Queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it. I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y yes ma'am! She, yeah, she means it. Man, she has split personalities or something. Actually, does she have heterochromia? No, they're both gray. Really? She just opens them up yeah. more sharply when... Because I noticed that she, like, flips her hair and looks in the opposite direction mm -hmm. with the creepy blue eye. I don't know. I thought it was interesting if she maybe had one blue eye and one brown eye, but... Mm -hmm. hmm. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason. You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. E evil ones? Prosecutors. They have no qualms at all about blackening the names of innocents. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce! So she's saying... There was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday? 
I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have any personal grievances against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? A young miss? Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the Kafa Queen. Ew! The most heinous of all the evil ones. The ones they awarded yesterday. Oh, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? I'm totally confused. Watch that be Edgeworth's car or something. Are they going to bring a dude that's it's very Edgeworth's similar car. to Ed? I bet it's Edgeworth's car. One thing's clear. This lunch lady is a thing against prosecutors. So what exactly was it you witnessed, Miss Starr? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know... What do they say when they talk about a woman's wrath? To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Huh? Her knife lashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You. you mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his. Silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hm, of course. It's quite a feat, becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Also, she said beat of the knife. That means it was multiple times. It wasn't a single stab. Correct. Um, could we ask you for a bit more about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and the best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? N no Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Cho's trilobite lunch set. Ah, uh, uh, never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a trilobite's flavor. Also, trilobites are long extinct, lady. I mean, there are things that look similar to them that are still exi in existence. No, those, but... are, those are trilobites. What? I'm pretty sure trilobites never went extinct. And trilobites then... are most definitely extinct. Give me a second. That that she presented looked exactly like a flounder. Oh no, you're right. Extinct. I'm trying to think of if they look like it. Um There are things that look like them, but they're small. They look like them. They're very similar. See, how about the um um triops? I love triops. They're so cute. I never. Yeah, I, maybe I you're never, right about that. I never succeeded in growing mine. There, there's they something that They were the that dry powder like... eggs, and you're supposed to put them in warm water, and they're supposed to grow into glorious little triopses. But I, I never... want to say hmm? it's something like a trilobite or whatever that straight up just has never really evolved or changed since like horseshoe crabs. Might have been horseshoe crabs. Okay. They haven't evolved in millennia. Several millennia. Wild. They're ancient creatures, and they're very, very similar to what trilobites look like, but not quite. People are wondering what triops are. They're so cute. They look like, well, trilobites, except they have three eyes, hence why they're called triops. Actually, do you know that a lot of crustaceans and reptiles and such, they actually have sort of like defunct third eyes? Hmm. And 
among reptiles, it's sometimes like a shiny scale on top of their head. And there was a spider, uh, not a spider, a snake down in uh, Australia that they found that had three functional eyes, but it starved to death. Oh, poor thing. But no, 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 no. Like, uh, the few reptiles that still have this, it's really only just to sense what time of day it is. It's just a photoreceptor. It's not really that complicated. Anyway, did you read this one? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, maybe I did. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Y your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall booth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop by in to see him. Or in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis, not. Well, she does have a beef against prosecutors. Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sent some hostility. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be sure to cause food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking cough-up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. I was never able to grow my triops. Wander, did you ever see people that had sea monkeys and stuff? Yeah. My friend had sea monkeys for a, a particular time, but aren't they really just very, very tiny shrimp? I think so. I don't know. I think sea mon monkeys I never are looked incredibly at them that tiny close. shrimp. Well, of course, because they're that tiny. <laughs> You need like a magnifying glass to actually see them in great detail. But no, oh, I wanted glorious little triopses and I never You're gonna have to show your, your audience triopses they at some point. They can Google it. Kids these days need need to learn how to Google anyway. I have like a billion people asking me, it's like, how do I get cheat engine? I don't know, have you Googled it? <laughs> a defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about tackling Lunchland's Pickle Supreme Lunchbox? Wow! It's really crunchy! A box of pickles? Kind of a sad lunch if you ask me. About this card. Hmm. Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, no. This isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? The High Prosecutor's Office. Look, there's a steel samurai statue. What looks and to be a really fancy coat? Edgeworth coat. A big K award? Look at that. Even even the plant has... What are those called? A cravat. A cravat. Look, the plant. Is it Edgeworth? Is this Edgeworth? Or, or is it an Edgeworth fanboy? I don't it's know. probably Edgeworth's office. Oh my. I mean, look, the maroon is everywhere. Yeah. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Oh, look, look! There's a trophy or something here. It got broken, though. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be a shield, but... Yeah, a trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. King of prosecutors. Mm hmm mm-hmm. Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Uh, Phoenix Wright. 
You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice! Edgeworth! Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! M M Mr. Edgeworth! Huh? You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once, and... Right. Her sister's the chief prosecutor, after all. Man, well, doesn't Edgeworth make all the teenage girls swoon? Apparently so. I mean, <laughs> you saw how swole he was in the previous case, so... Like, he's got the muscle to back it up. <laughs> well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. N no did I... Uh, no! I was just... Well, Mr. Wright was here, and he... Hey, don't blame me. Well, we're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. That would be my car. Oh, look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> what of it? She's just gonna be inadvertently dissing him the entire time. Yep, just trampling all over his feelings. Y y y y did your car? I'll say one thing, she certainly can scream. So the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, d don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, 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 wait, no, no, no. She, she didn't do that, I mean. Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yeah. Yes, sir. Emma Sky. It, uh... It's nice to meet you again. Now, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it was a surprise for me, too. To think my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand- Wait, what did you say?! Lana Skye is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth? Well, on the plus side, I've beaten him, uh, what? Two for two? And saved his ass? <laughs> to be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about the guy. Forging evidence, arranging false tes testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks... Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of this year. That's the Swolesworth picture, by the way. Uh -huh, look right. at how beefy his shoulders, shoulders are. Like, no amount of padding is going to make him look that swole. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. But what? That's crazy. Huh. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys, that bronze shield. There's got to be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes. Well, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right. I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife! What? Mr. Edgeworth! Your knife is the murder weapon? 
Be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Edgeworth, this all could have been avoided if you had just kept your car locked. What's keys? <laughs> no, really, like... I mean, if someone was intent on killing someone, they probably could have found something else, but it's just so convenient that, you know, there was the knife. And, or watch it be some crazy thing where someone bludgeoned the dude to death and then threw him in the car and the knife just happened to be sticking up the wrong way and stabbed him in the stomach. I think that's pushing it. That would be. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <sighs> Come on, can't you take a joke? You, you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Oh. Oh, hey, that's just your serial number, I suppose. Oh. So, this is what the back of the badge looks like. And I always thought that it had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? Nope, I'd be found out right away. Well, that's no fun. It has a screw? Yeah, that is peculiar. That's a nice, nice 3D model though, I like it. Mm -hmm. Can we look at the knife? Sure. It is our new piece of evidence. It's interesting how the name is buzzed out. You think they could have displayed that a bit more clearly? I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID? Yabba-dab! Were you just making fun of, like, yabba dabba If I were a rich man, yabba dabba dabba do. <laughs> it really does sound like that if you're not really paying attention. See? Wouldn't that be better? Yabba dab does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point. <laughs> Doesn't take much to amuse her. Murder weapon. Blood. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. Or... What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? I remember it was her sister that cut herself, though. Yeah. So maybe the dude never got stabbed? Or, or he got stabbed by, by someone else. else at a different date? and was just put in the trunk with a bloodied knife. Mm. Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it up out in the wild. Edgeworth in the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Look at, look at his muscles. Wrestles bears. Now there's a scary thought. <laughs> It's against my policy to discuss evidence with the defense, especially with you. He doesn't like you very much, does he, Mr. Wright? Nah. With Edgeworth, Edgeworth, it's never personal. It's all about winning tomorrow. Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. M mr Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he'll take it for sure, won't he? Y yes Yes! This okay. is the first time someone has made you question showing evidence to a potential party that does not, that, where it's not in their interest to have you retain that evidence. I feel like no matter what, this combination of like. No, 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 because think of all the, think of no, all no, 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 of no. the past instances where we presented I, I know. the photograph to the lady, where we presented the, um, yeah, we, where yeah. we. Presented the Remember, evidence to Von Phoenix Karma, Wright is kind of an idiot. And then we end up getting captured or the evidence taken away from us or nearly killed. Yeah, you don't show your hand to the enemy. 
Ah. I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm gonna start getting depressed. I once dreamed of being a defense attorney a long time ago. What? You wanted to be a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? Yet my path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might have been. I'm actually really disappointed. Can you that... look around the room? Oh, right. I'm really disappointed that in this game, or like in one of the games, it isn't just like Edgeworth switching over to defense and like him just kind of being the uh, Maya for, for a game or at least a case. Just like standing next to you and just be like, Phoenix, what are you doing? These are all terrible ideas. Why would you do this? <laughs> like, I, I just think it would be really funny to have uh, just like investigate something and Phoenix is like interested in Edgeworth's like, why are you doing this? Just that, that like running judgment would be beautiful. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. I bet he pours over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket and rolls up his sleeves and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. Oh no, I was daydreaming about him taking off his clothes bit by bit. No, really, like, wasn't that she was just describing, like, yep. Oh no, off she wants jacket. to see him bare arms. Like, oh no. For those muscles. I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and little creases in his cheeks from the seams. He's so cool. Sofa hair is cool? <laughs> oh my. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Uh, prosecutors. Huh? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K -k -k King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for... King. Yeah? You got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. Wow, this jacket is even fancier than his usual one. Lacier. Oh, lacier, sorry. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right, I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty. And take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. My, my, my! What an amazing bouquet! Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. Wendy. <gasps> Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. Old bag. Oh! Wendy, old bag. Is it really Wendy Old Bag? I'm pretty sure it's Wendy Old Bag. What about being back from the dead? Uh, hell if I know, but I'm 99% certain it's Old Bag sending him flowers. It's gotta be. Uh. And beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his boot. Yep, it's old bag. Ah. Uh. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Wait, she's sending stuff to him so that he can still prosecute the case? No, or... she's just sending Edgy Poo some stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Why, is she just suddenly enamored with him? Yeah, she was enamored with him, remember? No, that's true. Because she called him Edgy Poo. Repeatedly. Oh, I mean, I suppose since Hammer is dead, her affections are placed elsewhere. Wendy, is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. 
called it. Yeah, you're right. The work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. Oh, right, because Wendy Old Bag is for Wendy Old Bag. Mm hmm. What a nice desk! Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well, I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Did he polish it? Yeah. Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. Ooh! Cute! What a pretty tea set! I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below, below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction! There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Hey! A chessboard! I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check the poor pawn. His head is... Really? It, it's supposed to be them? Yeah. On the board? Edgeworth has a bit of a vendetta. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. Oh! These are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. Oh, he's so cool! Wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Whoa! What a view! It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, we need to jump out this window. The time until impact to the ground would be... Mm. Got it. Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know. Hmm. So, that's the king of the prosecutor's shield, huh? Well done. Well done, Edgeworth. You must be proud to be the king of prosecutors. Congratulations, king of prosecutors. Please, stop saying that. It still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? So basically, this is that you were the best of the best last year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to retrieve that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where, Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah? Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his ward, for better or worse. <laughs> Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Can you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning at the prosecutor's uh, Annual cleaning day at the day of the, uh, the <laughs> cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day. Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. 
Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. It was an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. Wait, 5.12? Before the murder. I thought that the murder happened at 5.12. 5.15. 5.15? Huh. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves in our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Ah, the parking stub. This is the parking stub for the underground lot. The body might have already been? Because the only evidence we have on the um, the guy dying was the lady saying she witnessed the murder at 5.15, three minutes after he got there. The body was already in, he transported the body from the police department to the prosecutor's office to set her up. Mm. Why would Edgeworth do that? No, he didn't do it intentionally. Someone else did? Yeah. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What? Right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Hmm. Um? Oh! oh. Um! I forgot this guy. <laughs> Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the promises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Pro Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Ah! Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir! No, no name of that kind, sir! Not this report, sir! Hmm. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me un anything unrelated. Sir, but sir, oh, I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars with your arrangements. Give me your name. Ah, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. Good luck with that raise next month. Sir, I didn't, didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Right. Yes, sir? God, he cut me off, caught me off guard. As you <laughs> can see, I'm busy. I may leave now. L let's see what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask for more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Oh, hey! The Isn't that the mascot? Badger. But why is there it's a the tape on it? It's the blue badger for some reason. Yeah, the blue badger. For some reason. We'll find out later. Oh, you're too tired? I'm too tired. <laughs> 